progress and innovation is a constant thing. It's human nature where if there's something new and different and strange, the immediate response to that is there's aversion. We would normally fear something that is different because we're not used to it, we don't know what it is. There's uncertainty, maybe it's uncomfortable, maybe it's gonna change what we're used to. And most people don't like that. Because most people like comfort doing the things that they're familiar with. Our firm ambition back then to be a social enterprise where we, we want to be in business, but our, our business has to be geared towards social impact. Whatever work we do, products, services, we're always geared towards uplifting lives, particularly of underserviced, at risk, vulnerable communities. We've developed a technology such as these guys you see behind me. Uh, these are micro grid systems that were shrunk down to the size of small portable boxes. We started doing more research on, on off grid technologies for power, for clean water livelihood was uh, was difficult uh, so this became like an eye-opener for us this this gave us awareness to the the blight of uh, of communities that are that belong to vulnerable areas we saw how desperate the situation was how hopeless sometimes the cases of many people who are in the path of natural even man-made disasters uh, communities that are under service uh, people who are outside the radar of uh, government, attention of the private industries. There's so much out there. Schools have been built, but it's not a complete uh, holistic uh, execution. You go, say, to off-grid areas, to rural places, uh, to the mountains, you will find a school, but you will not see roads that lead to the school. You will not uh, see power supply. Dahil nga po uh, wala pong kuryente ang eskwelahan. Uh, ang naranasan po namin yung hindi po conducive ang learning ng mga bata natin. Kasi po hindi po namin nagagamit ng maayos yung lahat ng mga kailangan po sa eskwelahan. Hirap din po dahil dikit-dikit po sa yung classroom. Wala din po maayos na ilaw, electric pan. Hindi din po makapagturo ng matino yung, yung teacher namin. Minsan po, bumibili na lang kami ng mga pang kandila po kasi wala nga pong kuryente at mahirap ang buhay. Kagabi po kasi, madilim po yung daan at konti lang po yung mga bahay dito. Kaya minsan po, nakakatakot din maglakad sa gabi. Hirap na hirap po yung mga bata namin sa pagintindi ng lesson dahil po pagka po summer, sobrang init po. Talaga pong... And makikita mo talaga na pinapapawisan sila, hindi sila makapag-focus sa pag-aaral. And pagdating naman po sa rainy season, kinakailangan po namin ng, ng liwanag sa loob ng paaralan or classroom. Dahil nga po wala po kami mga kuryente nung panahon na yun, nagtitiis po kami na kahit medyo madilim po ay patuloy po yung pagtuturo at pag-aaral ng mga bata namin. During our assessment, nakita namin yung needs ng school kasi nga talagang of course walang power so paano kung ano man makapag-print ng modules ng mga teachers for their teaching. Then of course, in charging ng mga mobile phones, mga ganyan. We designed a coagulant system which is portable kasi yung purpose will be plug and play siya. Hindi mo na kailangan ng isang technical person to operate. So this is exactly they need some far flung areas. Meron siyang PV panel, meron siyang charge controller, battery and inverter. The PV panel, this is the one who harvests the energy from the sun. So siya yung pupunta sa battery. Pero bago siya pumunta sa battery, meron muna siyang solar charge controller to control yung energy papunta ng battery from there para huwag lumobo o mag-overcharge yung battery. And then next will be the battery. Ito naman yung in-store niya yung energy na hinaharvest ng panel. But it doesn't stop there. Nagkaroon pa siya ng inverter. From battery, kinoconvert naman niya yung energy into 220. From there, pwede ka magsaksak ng 12 volts appliances, electric fans. The Philippines is uh, one of the most vulnerable countries and places with respect to natural calamities. When, when we're hit by calamities, the delivery systems for these kinds of services are commonly cut off. Water crisis natin ngayon, kasi before we are complacent na mayroon pang enough na tubig. Yung projects natin ngayon sa Power Falls, nag-rise siya kasi merong supply crunch si Maynilad sa, in terms of tubig. 
especially sa Vita area. So, nagkaroon ng initiative si Maynila to produce small-scale modular treatment plants para ma-address yung problem na yun. Puro stands for P sa pretreatment. So, dito natin tinatanggal yung mga malalaking solids, mga debris. Garbage. U, UF. We have the UF to remove yung mga parasites, bacteria, viruses. And then lastly, yung RO. We have that para naman matanggal yung mga chemicals na hindi kaya ni UF. Final product is pure water. We draw a lot of influence also from other players. And uh, we, we try to learn what their experiences are, their wins, their difficulties. So if, if we can learn through the experience of others, and, uh, and hopefully we also have our contribution uh, to those uh, learning experiences. Everyone influences everybody else. In our case, uh, we, we'd like to think that the influence we have is that we try to be present and operate in spaces that are difficult uh, for a lot of players to be present and operate in. In that way, there's a challenge and there's also an awareness. Malaking tulong po yung Power for All para po sa estudyante at mga bata po namin. Dahil nga po sa tulong ng kuryente ay naibigay po namin yung opportunity po sa bata na maibigay namin yung tamang edukasyon para sa kanila. Nung meron silang solar, hindi nila kailang bumaba. From the school itself, nakapag-print na sila ng modules. Then from there, mas na-maximize, na-minimize yung expenses nila. Alam mo yung feeling na malit na bagay para sa atin, para sa kanila, yung tiyatawag na impact your lives. Kaya minsan nakapaduha ka na lang. Ang ganito talagang buhay, makatulong ka, napakagaan. So yung may hanig mo, yung saya. Sarap din talaga na pagka nakita mo yung tao na natutuwa na hindi na nila kailangang pag-igib ng tubig or hindi na nila kailangang pumila para mabigyan ng tubing-tubig. So it's ano, it's it's a uh, para sa it's a noble cause. Iba pa din 'yo ano yung nakita mong may tutulungan yung project mo na na-appreciate nila yung ginagawa mo kasi bihira ay itong klase ng work na kakapag-alleviate tayo ng problem ng isang for example, ng isang community. Malayo na yung narating ng paaralan pero mas, mas malayo pa po yung gustong i-achieve po ng paaralan namin na yung magkaroon po ng uh, magandang kinabukasan yung aming mga learners. Sa tingin ko po, marami na din pong nagbago pero mas matindi pa pong magiging improvement kung mas magpapatuloy pa. Uh, mga taon po, marami na pong nagbago at marami pa pong dadaan ng taon para mas marami pa po ipagbago at ikaganda ng aming um, it's, it's one, one thing to run a business to make profits, uh, but, but can it be done in a way that it also does some significant good? And you do the work the right way, you work ethically, with uh, the clear vision, with commitment, the numbers will follow. You try to bring to market things that, that you've not seen before. Sana na maging open lahat ng sa technology na bago kasi minsan may mga bagay na minsan kung ano yung nakasanayan na dun sila palagi. Why not magkaroon ng open mind para sa bagong technology? Kasi kung mas ano naman siya, why not invest dun sa bagong technology na kung mas makakatulong naman kaysa sa lung, makaluma na mabilis na masira, di ba? Mas mahal siya pero I mean, in the long run, mas makatulong sa buong community. Sana po uh, lahat po ng paaralan ay mabigyan ng sapat na kailangan o higit pa sa kailangan. Magkaroon po ng magandang daloy ng kuryente at tubig. Pagpatuloy natin yung ano, pagtulong sa kapwa natin. Yung importante naman para ano, mas magan kasi sa kalooban. Hopefully more and more players think the same way. Uh, that just because it's difficult, it's uncomfortable, maybe even unprofitable, you don't want to do it. But hopefully, with what we do, then people start to think differently. When we see that our work has put smiles on other people's faces, that's our profit. That's what we work for.